Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Songs of Six. Today, we have plans. Great plans for expansion, but not expansion of the city, no. Expansion of our territory. I know that's been the theme for the, like, the past, <laughs> you know, four or five episodes, but... Oh, it's hard to expand, okay? There's... There was difficulties I did not anticipate. So, we have a few things we need in order to, like, actually expand. The first thing is we're gonna need... I think I said this at the end of the last episode. We're just gonna need a ton of capacity. I could probably have the gap in the center here. We're gonna need a ton of capacity for soldiers. On top of that, we are also gonna need the equipment for the soldiers, and we're gonna need the administration points so that the soldiers, uh, well, so that the territories that the soldiers conquer will not be super pissed off so that they don't rebel so we can actually hold on to the territory. I've already started, just now, in case you were only listening and not watching. Uh, just getting the training grounds themselves built, so that's going to be another 150 capacity for people training at once, which means we're going to have like, that's going to be like another 200 or so, maybe 300 soldiers. I'm not quite sure how exactly it works, but you know. You can, the soldiers don't need to train 100% of the time, so... There's like a little bit of excess to worry about. Uh, we don't have enough paper. I mean, there should be paper. I guess there just isn't a warehouse near enough by the administration buildings. I wanted to alter this warehouse as well. Because uh, I realized... We have two crates for bread, but we need a crate for coal. There we go. I guess I'll build another warehouse as part of this, like, utilities district. And it is gonna just have paper and other random gubbins, I guess. Another thing that we need that we haven't built yet, for whatever reason, I don't know why, is a bathhouse. I'm pretty sure we literally have zero of them. So that needs to be fixed immediately. And this canteen is already part, I mean, this uh, lavatory is already part of a services block. So it's actually perfect. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of positive vibes for people. They're going to greatly appreciate these basins. For sure. Because uh, it'll increase their, like, bathing rating. Currently, they're only getting by on the wells. Which, you know, sucks. Sucks for them. Just adding in some basins and a little pillar action. Uh, there's going to have to be some benches, too. If I remember correctly, the bathhouses... Oh, I'm remembering incorrectly. Or maybe they changed it. I was going to say the bathhouses are kind of a pain in the ass to have the benches for. But not so. I'm not sure who's going to be working. Oh. oh my god. What a sneaky little bench placement spot. That's fantastic. I don't know who's going to be working the bats. I'm imagining it's probably going to be Piganoids. If there's even employees. But it's, I'm going to make it a grand building. Anyways. Which will suck for any Piganoids working there. But all the humans... Who are going to be bathing in here are going to have a magnificent time. Besides, I'm pretty sure the pigs probably have like 100% access to wells anyways. No, only 79%. Interesting. I guess some pigs are working in the city and there's not enough wells in the city. So if we look at our humans, services, wells 79%. No, we have the proximity. We don't have the quality. Oh, okay. We're going to have to go around upgrading all the wells in town. That sounds horrible. 
sounds friggin' absolutely miserable. So I don't even know where the things are, pretty much. I guess you can zoom out and see the stuff, see them on the map. But it's still... It's kind of a pain. I'll get around to doing that. Whenever I see a well, I'll try to upgrade it, I guess. That'll make it easier. Less of pain than just going around. I think I wanted to add another tourism building as well. Hold up, can I just upgrade all the wells through this menu, I wonder? Oh, it's under civics. Can I upgrade them all? Okay, no, I'd have to... I mean, this is a little bit of a... <laughs> it's a lot of clicking. Is there like an upgrade hot Like, Can I hit you? No? Oh, hold up. Next E. Okay. Oh, there we go. This is the way to do it. It's a shame I don't have an auto clicker, because that would absolutely help with this. And this is going to soak up all of our mechanisms, but we're running a surplus in mechanism generation anyways. Oh man, look at that. The pigs are going to fucking re absolutely rejoice. Oh, we're almost done. There we go. No, we're still, we're still going. We're just hitting some of the upgraded wells. Fantastic. I think I missed a well. Well, whatever. It's going to be the one unupgraded well. Oh, no, I'm out of mechanisms. Fantastic. Oh. Well, that's going to raise the population's happiness by a lot. Uh, I hope we weren't running a deficit on these guys. No, it's just construction. Okay, then we'll be getting... Yeah, we're already getting gears back. Okay, so that's step one done. We've got the train... I guess step one and two. Got the training grounds. We're getting some services for the more people that are going to have to move in. Which I guess I'll add in another block right now. Uh, I'll put these guys down here. It's going to be a block of training and a block of people living there. Because why not? Just get this deuter settled in. They'll be using the bathhouse, which will be nice. Fantastic. I guess I'll extend this wall as well. Just to get these dudes out of here. I guess I can have an opening here. Why not? Uh, the tourism building I wanted should just go... Right here, I suppose. They'll be able to see all the cool soldiers training and stuff. It'll be nice. Oh, there we go. This is not a fully organic building. Now it is. So the rooms are going to have to just... I mean, they can line this wall right here. We'll squeeze in... decorations wherever possible. There we go. So decorations can go over here. We're already at 22% coziness. 40% coziness. Uh-oh, I think we're gonna actually not have enough coziness. This is terrible. We're at 81% coziness. Fuck me, dude. Uh, okay. Well, um... We could just remove this one room. And that'll give us the space we need to get 100% coziness. We'll even be a little bit over 100%, though you don't... you get no benefit for that. There 
we go. We'll have to come up with some cool, funny name for that in as well, because I don't think in number three will cut it. We could use this little space over here for something. What would be a good space filler? Maybe a speaker stand? Be like a little speaker plaza. We mostly get Cretonian tourists, so I guess I'll have like a... It'll be like a little park. I think that'll be cool. There's tons of the other types of plazas anyways. So... Obviously, we're going to want decorations, tree. I guess I'll get a couple of the big trees and some of the tiny trees. There we go. It'll provide like a faux. You know that thing where they like completely block off vision from the town proper so that you feel as though you're in nature? That's the situation in this plaza. Or uh, this little zone. And I'll put the speaker stand right there, so everyone in the inn can just come out. To the right, there's the speaker stand park. To the left, there's the lavatory. A little bit further up, there's the gray castle and the bronze arrow. And if they want to go for the baths, they have to walk all the way around. And that's fine by me. What should we do with this space here? We could do procreation building. I don't think that makes sense. Maybe another civic building? We could do a crypt, I guess. That seems kind of macabre. We could do another canteen or rest home. I mean, what's everybody's canteen access currently? 65%? Okay, we. that's tavern. Yeah, we could definitely have like a little canteen to go with this inn. So it's going to be a small diner. A little itty bitty diner to service the people here. And then we can have a, like a proper human plaza in the center of the zone. Uh, we probably want a, another micro warehouse too. Just to service the diner. So why not? Oh, there's a friggin' door there. Yeah, this door can connect into this door. Okay, that's pretty cool. Is gonna fuck up the <laughs> storage capacity a little bit, but whatever. Fantastic. Yeah, this plaza could have another well or another speaker stand or both. You know, column A, column B. I think I actually will have both. Yeah, well, speaker stands, this is going to be like the optional, you have two options, right? You go for either the, the nature-y themed one or the non-nature-y themed one, the ah uh, one. I don't think the people will be smart enough to pick out the one that services them better, unfortunately. But, you know, who knows? Maybe by sheer RNG it'll provide more awe access. And that'll be cool. There we go. Another block complete. Can add in some more humans. If they're homeless, that'll only be temporary because they will build, they will help build these apartments out, which will be nice. We can just let time advance. Yep, this is a nice... It's kind of ugly park. It kind of reminds me of like a friggin' playground. To be honest. You know that like material where it's like a bunch of plastic chips that have been like amalgamated together to form a rubbery substance so you don't like die when you fall on it? That's kind of what it looks like to me. Maybe it's just because it's purple. Yeah, I mean, it's an okay park. It reminds me also, I, it's reminding me of a lot of things, but it's also reminding me of those like micro parks and fucking, uh, what's it called? Yakuza, like the shithole ones with like the barrel. I'm going to add in a bench, why not? 
that'll be cool. I could maybe add in a bench over here too. Give the people a way to spend their time in this zone. Magnificent. Okay, we've got the training. Oh no, we don't have the gears. We used up all our gears on wells. It's going to be a while before we can level up those training yards a third time. Well, that's fine. That's fine. It is whatever. I'm not going to gripe too much about it. So, that's the first step. I know I've said that like three times. Uh, the next thing we need is probably more weapon and armor generation. We already have tailors making armor. I mean, tool generation also is probably healthy. I think this block will be tools, and then the next block, the one down here, could be weapons, I guess. I think that'll be neat. The tools will help just produce more weapons, right? We always want to expand our tool capacity, if possible. This needs to be one bigger so that we can fit in. Okay, that's the biggest we can get the workbench. Well, that is fine because that lets us fill, get like a super storage there. Fantastic. So I'll be another tool smithy. Oh, we really have a lot of masons. Might as well just build... I think I'll build a warehouse here just so that we can cut off some of the noise that would go into this park. And it'll allow even more storage. It's just nice to have storage around anyways. It's going to be a square building. It'll suck for the pigs working there. I do not care. And this will be a small zone to make weapons. A small weaponsmith. Have the auxiliaries in the back. Can maybe fit in another workbench. Yep. And storage can be up front. Yeah, we can get slightly more storage, I think. There we go. That's a nice little workshop. That lets us continue the city block here. Very sweet. There's a magnificent little donut right here, so we could probably put in another pavilion. It'd be a lot of pavilions in a short, a small amount of space, though. Is there any other... I'm sure we'll find something. Not every donut has to be filled immediately. Oh, you know, uh... Another guard post would be nice, actually. So maybe the guard post could go in the donut. So if we look... I mean, this donut's pretty much covered. It's really up here that needs the guard post. Uh, we could put... Where would we put this bad boy? I mean, we could put one right... Yeah, in this micro block, that'll be a goodish spot. I guess right here? Or we probably would want it up here, actually. This place desperately needs law. Okay, we could, we could put one up here in this sort of disorganized block. That covers a decent chunk, and we get like a corner one here. We don't need... We need to put a big one down there yet. Uh, we were gonna build another... First of all, I think we wanted more paper storage here, right? So they didn't have to walk as far. So that could be a crate. I'll say two crates, why not? This canteen... I'm gonna say it's not super duper human centric. It's just gonna play to our strengths, which is bread, fruits, vegetables, and meat. Obviously, I need to auto employ. Need to do that for this warehouse as well. Is this warehouse? Yeah, it is auto employed. Okay. We need to add in our soldiers now. 
we should have a bunch of human eye jobbers. So at this point, another human division of 90 soldiers. Or even 100. I'll say 100. They're going to want to be maxed out on armor. Maxed out. We can't max out on weapons yet. Okay, they'll just have to be half weapons for now. That's why we're building this extra smithy. We're gonna slurp up all these weapons. It'll be great. So change recipe. Boom, weapons, fantastic. This warehouse will store coal. I think is needed. Iron, I think is needed. Could do a couple ticks of each of those. Weapons. I'll say four crates. This warehouse is storing the tools and stuff. I mean, this warehouse could store a tool. I don't see why I couldn't. And some clothing as well. And I'll leave the three crates for whatever else I can think of later. Let's see. Oh, I think we actually have enough room for another one of these human divisions. Does mean we're going to need even more human immigrants, though. I mean, the demand is going to go up once this bathhouse finishes. Let's see. Do you have access? We could probably give them access to more furniture. Yeah, because we're maxed on furniture anyways. More bolts of cloth, more jars. They love the jars. Uh, we don't want too many drink rations because it's going to decrease health. Wait, humans only have one food ration? Are you serious? There we go, two food rations. It's increasing fulfillment immensely, which will be nice. We could do a, a doctory, actually, come to think of it. A physician. So that's something we're most definitely not having enough of. And this micro block can be like a really long block. Let's see. So if we have a bunch of workbenches, this is going to be like a very big physician. It's going to have five physicians. Uh, maybe we should make this building one bigger. It kind of eats in the space. Maybe we'll just have like a shitty, like a long plaza or something. I guess it'll have to be that way. First things first. Can't, is this going to be enough shelves? Oh no, the shelves have to be kind of weird. I think we're going to need... To subsume all this extra space with shelves. Man, this building is really space inefficient. Is there a better way we can lay this shit out? So this is 12, and this is 7. 7 blocks equals 12, 4 blocks equals 7. I... my math brain is not good. It kind of looks like... For four blocks, that's three extra blocks, right? Whereas this is seven blocks and it is five extra. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, four. I need to use the calculator. So the four blocker is 1.75 quality per. And then I think the four blocker is more efficient. So if we could get these homeboys in. It would actually save on space a little bit. I don't think the three blockers are more efficient. It's still not enough. Oh my god. Alright. New plan. We finish this block out here. And make it rounded. Then we put massive shelves in here. And boom. We should have enough. We do not have enough. <laughs> oh my god. This is killing me. Okay, what if I 
expanded this building out here. There we go. This is a massive physician. I'm going to add some doors to the bottom plaza over here. There we go. That'll be awesome once that's actually done. Provide all the health ser health services this area needs. Bathhouses cannot be upgraded. Good to know. The inn also can't be. Not entertains. The fruit farms were all right, but not remarkable. The canteen was a spectacular experience. Stayed in. In number three, enjoyed excellent services. I'm going to call this in the war room because it's near all the war stuff. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't name this one. Uh, I'm just going to call this one Green Pastures. Amazing, because it's in front of Green Pastures. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure pastures are the ones where the friggin' cows are, but whatever. I had to come up with the name quick. Alright, those additional soldiers. Be another human division, another fully trained, another max armor, another max weapons. Boom, there we go. There's slightly not enough equipment for everyone. That's a problem that will hopefully go away on its own. Oh no, the smithy's made of wood. That's terrible. I need to refurbish this place. Ugh. I can't believe I've done it to myself again. Grand building, grand wall, overwrite. Whatever, shit happens. Just gonna have to live with that for a while. It's going to take a little bit for the soldiers to train up anyways. Obviously, we're going to need to add in some humans and I guess some dwarves. Oh, we really don't have enough dwarven housing. That's something I've been meaning to keep up with too, considering the massive amount of building we're doing. I guess I'll just add in more dwarven apartments. They're just going to have to go over here in this ginormous block. Hopefully we don't get like a massive homelessness epidemic. I've been trying to make sure that I've been building enough housing, though. Ah, there we go. We've got a positive amount of odd jobbers. The recruits are training, training up. We can maybe invest some science into making our smithies more efficient. Also appears we're running a metal deficit, so maybe... Not sure what we're gonna do about that. I guess we could increase our smelting capacity. It's going to slurp up a bunch of our knowledge. But whatever. That's what we set out to do. So we have done it. The tailory. I can get another 10% there. That's going to add a little bit more armor. Because we have armor tailories. Which will be nice. I hope that smithy maintains its recipe. Be very annoying if it did not. Are we... There's one other thing we wanted to build, right? Yeah, it was uh, another administration building. Guess I could build it behind this... Tree cutter place. The wood cutter. I believe it's called. Mine as well. Obviously, I'm going to shrink this building by one. We can always make it bigger by one if need be. I want carpets. Oh yeah, the carpets add plenty enough efficiency by themselves, I think. For the most part. I mean, we haven't gotten 100%, but... We can probably change that. If we... I guess I'll put some shelves here. It's not the best use of space, but... 
At least it does kind of look interesting. There we go. That'll be another 30 capacity for points, which will be enough to placate a unruly settlement or something. You know, I'm pretty sure Fort Evic only required 21 points. I'm starting to lose out on days of food as well. That is not the greatest. We'll have to fix our food situation somehow, but that does not have to be right now. So I think it's time to start our marching. It would maybe make sense to, I don't know, <laughs> wait for these guys to level up. It's going to take them 36 days though, which is so long. See, when we have this upgraded, it goes down in 27 days, which is still too long for us. I mean, the human divisions could stay home, I guess. I'm going to add in a little bit of Piganoid action, just to give us some odd jobbers to work with. Who's our next conquering target? So Stara has 747 dudes. That's a lot. Yervin has 744. That is also a lot. About Coach Raddy, 597. And they have decent stone prospects, which I think. Yeah, we could tax them instead of Kongnigan. That'd be a pretty good one. Pretty good one to get. I guess I could go for it. Uh, we have 800 soldiers, so we just leave 300 behind. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, we're gonna need. Once we start marching, we're going to have a huge shortage in odd uh, jobbers. So it might make sense to fix that. I guess we could fix it with some Garthemies. We also wanted a... We also wanted a Garthemie division though, right? Or to increase the Garthemie division. So... You know, because we want Garthemies training in the training ground, not humans and Piganoids. That would be miserable for them. Oh no, that's a lot of a lot of recruits. Or they should not be. A little bit unfortunate. We'll take some time to sort that out later. So six we're just gonna want six hundred troops. An army one. We also are having growing homelessness problem. It's homeless humans. It's homeless humans working in this recruit yard. So I guess we just need to build another apartment. So be it. We should have the grand stone for it anyways. So that problem will sort itself out very soon. I mean, they'll probably bum the houses from people who are not going out. We're going to want probably our more experienced divisions to go out. So, humans, Garthemies, humans, Piganoids, humans, Piganoids, once more. Send out, I want to leave some archers behind. There we go. That's going to be, this should be enough. Wow, uh, look at him go. Uh, should be enough dudes to conquer that friggin' territory, that's for sure. And I'll just get some immigrant paganoids to pick up the swag. So this division is going to have 580 soldiers, which is a little bit less than six... No, oh, yeah, it's just barely less than the garrison. And last time, when we took 40 back, we only had 400 soldiers to a 600 garrison. So I think, I feel confident that we can just march right now. There we go. <laughs> I hope they don't mind in the stare that we're moving dudes through their fucking lands. They should be happy we're not going for them. That is probably going to increase the chance we get raided. Only by 
Obviously, we're going to wait. We'll be waiting for a while. It's going to take some time, but that is life. Wow, look at that. This position, actually, their load is 100%. Probably means we need another physician somewhere. Who's the homeless people? Dondorians? Is it homeless Dondorian odd jobbers? No. It's uh, the ones working in this weaver. Why are Dondorians working in this weaver? Excuse me? Well, whatever. I'll just build some apartments for them. Why not? Well, it's only two homeless people, so that's probably ideal for us. Where would we put the extra physicians? Guess we could put some up here near the training yard. Training grounds, right? There's a lot of people working up there. And it'll free up these bottom physicians to work on people to the south. Which will be good. Let's start with the shelves, and then if there's extra space, we'll be able to add another workbench. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Then I guess Pillar can go here. Oh, no. Ooh. You gotta be kidding me. I double, I double right-clicked. I should have known. Oh, no, there's just not space for the Pillar. Dreadful news, a case of the white shimmer has been spread. Ah, okay. What if I just had a tinier workbench? Yeah, okay. It's not the most efficient use of space, but it will have to do. How's the sick? So, first person is white shimmer. Is this one of those not white shimmer, white shimmers? White shimmer, white shimmer, white shimmer, white shimmer. Okay. There will be a few deaths, but... I mean, ultimately, we have a shitload of hospitals, so, you know. We've actually developed a surplus of tools, so I think, first things first, we're going to want to increase the amount of tools in our labs. Oh, it's already maxed. It's already maxed in the libraries, can't in the universities. Supply depots don't need tools. Do warehouses need tools? Yeah, I guess I'll put a couple tools in the warehouses. That's probably going to increase their carrying capacity. Uh, the weavers, I guess I could have a couple tools. Do the metal smelters have tools? The metal smelters do have tools. By the way, we're running a horrible metal deficit, so we are going to need more metal smelters right now. So I guess I will build more metal smelters. I'll build, like, a ginormous one. It will... give all the metal we need. I'm probably gonna have to build it... this way. We're gonna need pillars, so that means we're gonna need some space. Oh no. <laughs> I have fucked it up. Alright, let's try this again. So, if I build a furnace this way... I can make the building one shorter. If I build a furnace this way... No, it has to be one longer. <laughs> if I build the furnace this way... Can I put a pillar here? Can I put a huge pillar there? Let's see how that works. No, that does not fix our problem. Okay, um, okay, well, we could just do the classic long skinny. I mean, I build all the buildings this way for a reason, right? We're probably going to have to have, like, a branch that extends out for even more auxiliary furnaces. That is what it is. Uh, it's actually going to have to be a little bit more than a branch. It's going to have to be two branches. 
There we go. And we can even fit in a storage. The doors are going to have to be on the outside, and we can have like a secret back door into the donut hole. There we go. That's going to be 19 workers. And uh, we could just put like a tiny storage warehouse in here too. Like a very tiny one. It's going to have enough crates where... Whoops. It's going to have enough crates where it can store all the stuff we're going to need. There we go, we can get Isolation 100 and have like a little hallway that connects directly to the building. That'll be nice. And it doesn't clog up these warehouses, which will also be nice. Hopefully 19 smelters will be enough. The extra tools should be slurped up just fine as well. At least a thousand of them. Uh, maybe we could have another person no, we're producing plenty of food. Hmm. Do we have enough herbs? We do have enough herbs, I think. And I can allocate a tool to the herb farmers. Or a few tools, because why not? The vegetable farmers, too, could use some tools. The fruit farmers are going to have to languish a little bit. Because there's just too many of them. But that is fine. So that'd be a metal smelter done. Might not be enough to solve a problem. But it is what it is. Uh, perhaps we could add another lab somewhere and then invest the lab points into even more stuff for us. Even more metal smelter usefulness. We could do another library actually come to think of it. Because those should be pretty good. Uh, it'll have to be kind of awkwardly down here. It could be it could be uh, next to the administration building, actually. That wouldn't be bad. So a library. It's going to be very tiny. Might as well connect all the way there gonna have many shelves okay it's gonna have a small amount of shelves but it will have enough carpet probably yep it absolutely will they love the carpets I would too it would suck to be like working in a library that just had a stone floor okay boom and I guess I'll add in some, a little bit of humans to work it. I'm not going to go crazy with it because all the humans returning are going to be pissed off and I don't want like a riot or some shit. And people get back. How can I make life more pleasant for the humans anyways? So they have almost enough health care. The arena action, not enough. Well, that's not, nothing I can do about that. Stage is not enough. Tavern's almost enough. Environment... They're doing perfectly fine on that. Religion. Faith. Oh, there we go. Kadrati has surrendered and opened their gates. <laughs> I'll be lenient with them. Though sacking would give us so much fucking shit. I'm merciful. <laughs> New Ganymede has always been merciful. merciful. Same as old Ganymede. Obviously, we're going to incorporate these guys into our realm. So first things first, we're going to want a garrison, and we're going to want... I'm just going to say two points in law and three points in entertainment. Then we're going to want five points in infrastructure. Then we're going to wait. We're going to let the loyalty... We're going to let the loyalty build up. How's Kongigan's loyalty? 100%. Fantastic. Or Evic is actually becoming more loyal. They're, they love that they're not the only 
only territory that's been added. Love to see it. This place will get taxed probably at some point. That doesn't have to happen right now. We can take our time with it. Slowly, you know, boil the frog by like raising the temperature. How the, I don't know how the idiom goes. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's the one where you slowly raise the temperature to boil the frog. That's what we're gonna be doing, but to them. It'll be great. They're gonna love it. They're not gonna know it hits them. Think everything's cool, I add in some like cool utilities, and then bam, taxes. Uh, we're gonna want a couple crates for coal. I guess a couple crates for ore, and a couple crates for metal. And that'll be enough for this metal smelter, which I'm gonna upgrade right off the bat. Hopefully that provides enough production. If not, we're going to be in for a bit of a painful situation. I mean, we can just calculate it right now, right? If we look at our metal, we're running a deficit of... Uh, we weren't running a deficit. We just... Uh, kind of looks like we just used a bunch in construction, actually. <laughs> Okay, well then we should be golden, actually. This new metal smeltery is just going to provide us with even more excess metal, which we'll be able to use to get more metal. Like, reinvest it. Which will be fantastic. We have now over 100 people in our metal smelter, and that is also going to add some metal. Alright, is Coach Ratty finally loyal? No. They need to cook for a little bit. Well, whatever, that's fine. That's just a matter of time. I think on that note, we can end the episode here. We have conquered another territory. I know. I Who would have thought we would actually ever get to three territories? But we've done it. Our ambitions are starting to very slightly get realized. Soon enough, we will hit our sort of manifest destiny and take this entire sort of peninsula. Then we'll just have to work our way up and over until we hit the regions that are occupied by these guys. They're going to be very difficult to beat because they have thousands of soldiers. But... I mean, we're getting there. We're, we're almost at a thousand soldiers ourselves. Right? Which will be cool. I don't know if these guys actually do anything in this patch of the game. I know they're, they added a like world conquering patch where dudes actually do march around and shit, but unfortunately I started the series like right before <laughs> that patch <laughs> sort of hit the bloodstream. I thought it was already patched. It is what it is. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for another Songs of Six. Goodbye!